What's up guys, Inklespangin here, and today we are playing as Jinx, AD Carry, and I decided to play Jinx because I actually did used to play a lot of Jinx, and I realized I haven't played her in like five or six months, so here we are, but let's go ahead and get this show on the road. One thing I would like to mention for you guys real quickly, uh, if you guys will be going to the North American NA whatever LCS finals, North American, North American. Uh, the NALCS Finals in New York this weekend. I will be there. Uh, make sure you say hello. I will also be at PAX Prime next weekend if you guys want to uh, come say hello to me there too if you're going to that. Um, and with that in mind, I will be trying to record my ass off to pre-record so you guys don't have to go a day without a spanking uh, while I'm gone. I'll be trying to upload a video every day like I usually do. Um, and also, when I get back from these, since I will have so much more time... That is when I plan on really, really trying my absolute hardest for you guys um, to get this variety channel going. Because I'm going to elaborate on this so much more in a vlog soon, uh, for those of you that care. Because I really, really want you guys to support on all of this. Um, I want you guys to know that even though I do want to go variety, I will not be dropping the league content off my channel at all. I will not be dropping the frequency of the uploads. I will not be dropping anything. So for the people that do want to just see the league, you will get just as much league as you do right now. Okay? But I'll elaborate on this more as time goes on. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. Um, and with all that said, let's go ahead and get this leash out here. We are playing Firecracker Jinx. And we do have our boy Cat Ears on that Clitz Barank support. Uh, we do have his friend Toby on that Jarvin, so let's see if he can, let's see if Toby can make some Kobe plays and just dunk up on some fools. And then we have Nexivus on that top lane Fiora. Hopefully, I'm, I'm sure this game will be much better than the last one. Um, let's see, do you, oh, we start with a Sapphire Crystal? What? Alright, well, since he started with Sapphire Crystal, I guess I should definitely be on, um, on, on my best CS in game. And I think I would have missed that one if I gotten it but let's see here so it is a rengar support that'll be interesting interesting and fun it's looking like okay so not gonna be doing much there let's go ahead and just rocket form these minions down this will get us to level two first right here on this next minion because i was okay the, this next minion because i'm just a big old troller dog but uh, that is one thing you definitely want to do very frequently on jinx is um actually like when you're level one Make sure you go rocket form and push out the um, the little range minions because you can just whoa! It's looking like Rengar is gonna get grabbed a little bit here. He is doing a bunch of damage. There's the ignite. I need to keep jumping back. Let's get this first blood. There it is, and that will be the getting excited right there. And her flash is gone. So let's see first blood going down. There's the zap. That is good, and let's see it, let's see it. There's the hook right there on her, and let's just get in this bush. Denier of the Vision, that's going to be a double kill coming in right there. Perfectly played. Two kills going down for us just like that, and that was beautifully done by yours truly, along with the super sexy cat ears right there. So 20 CS, she is going to miss all this CS now, and Rengar and Tristana are both dead. So two kills, nine CS up. That was really good. So let's go ahead and go back here. We are going to grab boots and a pickaxe, and I might as well just grab a bunch of potions here and the scrying orb. So level three, both of our summoners are down. Both of Tristana's summoners are down. Both of Rengar's summoners are all down. That was really good for us. We played that so well, and now we have a very strong foothold in this in this lane. Because Tristana only came back with a second Doran's Blade. No potions or anything. Where we came back with a pickaxe, boots, and a health or two health potions and mana potions. So we can use our abilities a shit ton. We can trade a shit ton and heal up. We can do everything a lot more than she can. So let's go ahead and just do this right here. Tristana doesn't even have her jump. This is going to be a very dead Tristana. Let's go ahead and just kill her. And he hooked her out of it. Shit. I'm going to die. A slight misplay. So, basically, what happened there. Um, if you guys didn't see it, I actually tried to zap the Tristana. But 
we we lost our synergy that we had and um oh Tristana just killed herself <laughs> what did this lane turn into but <laughs> Tristana actually got hooked out of my zap that would have uh, killed her so that's a little awkward but we still have the lead so <laughs> We'll take our victories where we can get them. I guess I'll have to play a bit more reserved than that. Uh, Rengar did a lot more damage than I thought he would. And with our little slight misplay there with that whole hooking out of my zap. Um, bit of a shame, bit of a shame. Because when I died, she also got to level 3, leveled up her rocket jump, and was able to get out without dying. Um, so, all in all, that sucks. But she does still only have one kill where we have two, and we still have a bunch of CS on her. So we're not in we're not in the danger zone by any means, but uh, that's just one of those things that's well slightly annoying for it to have happen. I'm gonna wait for just a second. There we go, because I was waiting for that other or for that siege minion to get low enough for me to kill it with one more auto. And let's go ahead and just drop the zap right there, nailing her in the face. Eat my dick. Wait, don't eat my dick, please. I like it. But let's see here. So she still didn't buy anything, just like we didn't. Nice. So we haven't we haven't lost that part of the lead. I'm gonna wait for Cat Ears to get back in this lane before I step forward and go towards this Rengar. Because that Rengar with his five ferocity is kinda spooky. So let's see. There's the hook. Let's do some damage here. He is okay, he's only Whoa! Whoa! Oh oh god, jump out! Oh shit. How do you already have Ignite up? I mean that's okay. I still got a kill, but how do you have Ignite up, is what I want to know. So Tristana, actually she would be able to just jump out. But, real? Didn't we use Ignite and heal at the same time? Whatever, I have my heal next time we fight. Uh, it's looking like this will be still fine for us, because I got a kill, and Tristana got a kill. She is still far behind me on CS. I do have my heal, I'll be sick soon. I am just going to save the money for my BF sword. And this lane is... Nothing but blood. So there's the hook. It's looking like a Krabby Patty. Toby coming in with the dunk. We'll be doing some damage there. And the... Well, that'll be that. Wait, let's see it. Cat Ears is level 6. He can do this. And he's not going for it. So never mind. I take it back. He ain't doing it. So let's see. Rengar is going to come back into this lane. Um, and I'm guessing he's just going to try and all in me again. Because this, is, this has been a very puzzling experience for me. Uh, I, I play AD carry very, very safely whenever I play. Um, I am, I am not a super aggressive player. That's just not, that's just not how I do it. Whoa, the flash hook! And let's see if we can do this. This is going to be a lot of damage going off right there in the zap. And let's, boom, flash auto. That's going to take her down right there. And it looks like one kill going to go down on to cat ears but i did get the kill off on what's his face so let's see the auto attacks here and let's see the zap oh if that landed i think it would have been able to ult and kill her but it's looking like what's his face is going for it a little bit so my scrying orb did not see her i am going to push out this wave and see if we can go back um so kobe the toby is not going to be going for anything here so push out the rest of this wave rengar going down we are 420 once again just <laughs> And let's go ahead and get this tower down. So it looks like he's just going to flag and drag himself in there. And since I am Jinx, I think I might as well just take this. Um, yeah, I might as well just take it. No real reason not to. I can just get excited, get out, and I can even get these minions as I fade away into nothingness. So let's kill all these minions right here. And whoop! Oh, I'm not going to get that siege, but that's okay. I'll be right back. BRB, BF, and Berserkers. So I have a lot of money right now. Um, and the reason it's actually really good to get Berserker Greaves early on Jinx is because it scales with her Q in the minigun form. So very, very high amount of power right there. It looks like the Blitzcrank coming in. Will he be getting this hook? And will not get the hook. Let's see that big damage going off right there. Demacia! Kobe taking the dunk and will be uh, taking his life. So whoops. Good thing that's not a real ability. So Rengar is level 6. Rengar 6 with full ferocity mean he can try and jump on someone with his ultimate. So that is something that everyone should be mindful of. And I'm not actually going to bother using the uh, mana it'll take for me to use my rocket form. Because I do have a lot of AD. I will be able to kill these very quickly. Um, 
And let's see. Tristana does have her BF sword as well. But I'm almost 100% positive that she cannot fight us. So there's a zap going down on her face. Let's get this auto attack off right here. And let's just keep auto attacking her right here. And let's go ahead and just drop this right here. Let's get another auto attack off right here. There's the zap. Let's get another auto attack off right here. And how about one more rocket? Oh, shit. All right, whatever. So, oh, you fucking whore. That's all I have to say to that. So this should be a kill for Cat Ears. Just explode it. That's going to be one kill right there. Tristana going to try and run away. Don't know where she is, but I will miss my ultimate, sadly. And let's see. So she just ran back in there, used her buster shot, and busted all over my face. So let's see the... Oh, he's going to come in, pulling him out of the knockup. Will be still a kill out for... Well, another kill for Blitzcrank right there. Let's see. So 4, 3, and 1. We are dying a shit ton um, because I am just going full reckless mode right now. I really feel like if I had played that a little better and just turned on Master Yi sooner, um, instead of trying to go so hard for that Tristana kill, I may have been able to get both of them. Um, so in retrospect, what I did was probably not the best choice, but I still feel like I should have had it. Um, but that's okay. So you live and learn. We are still in a very good position. I'll just keep up the farming. I am Jinx after all. I'm not even supposed to be like this super early game beast. I'm more of a mid game to late game hyper carry. So what you do as Jinx actually is you just go for Infinity Edge, go into Fam Dancer, and then you can team fight. That's when you want to team fight because when you team fight at that point, you get so much. You just do so much damage because of your rocket form, your AOE auto attacks just put in so much work um, whenever you whenever you attack and it's insane the amount of damage that Jinx does with just two items so that is your time to shine as Jinx and you only get stronger as the game goes on you don't fall off you only pick up harder and harder that's the great thing about Jinx her only drawback is obviously her lack of mobility she clearly does not have a lot of mobility built in, but let's see, there's the hook, that's going to be my little chompers going down, there's the one kill. Let's go ahead and pick up this tower, because what's Rengar going to do? You little pussy ass bitch, get it, because he's a cat? <laughs> so let's see, we got excited, let's go ahead and just clonk him on the booty right there, give him a good old auto attack. And another great hook by our clitz prank right there, bringing in the pain, and let's see, next could go for it, but I'm not sure you will. By the way, Blitzcrank and, um, whoa, Jinx is a great lane because of this reason, and that's going to be one kill, come on, all right, there's the Fiora, and shaboom, that's going to be another kill going down for us, TF with the ultimate coming in, and let's see, he is going to stun up, and I know Master Yi's coming, there he is, I'm going to back off this way, because I don't really want none, and let's see, do I want some, I don't know, all right, wait. Yeah, all right, I'm just going to launch it right here. Ew, fuck my ass, man. I have not been on point with my long-range abilities today at all. So, I actually played Ezreal earlier, too. And I did not hit um, any of those awesome long-range alts. So I have a feeling that he knows I'm there. So I'm actually going to back off. So let's go ahead and drop the zap right here as we run away. So I'm pretty sure had I tried to go through with that recall, I probably would have just died. Um, but let's go get our Infinity Edge here. We'll be able to get that, and I won't be able to get my Zeal, sadly, because I'll be 100 gold off, but we'll still get the components for it. Uh, actually, I'll just get Cloak of Agility. I think that'll be the better choice here. I think that'll be the much better choice here. Due to the fact that with uh, our scaling attack speed already from our minigun, all that crit chance will be much more useful for us right now. Um, another viable option, of course, would have been... Ooh, the dunk! But another viable option would be the Vampire Acceptor. Master Yi just trying to fight this a little bit. The Highlander coming out. Will he get out? It's looking like Highlander will definitely take him out of there. But let's see. We do have Rengar and Tristana down here. The Zap will hit. I need to be careful. Rengar just ulted. So I'm going to run like hell. Um, I heard the ulting noise. I'm going to back off. Because, yep, there he is. Just like we said. Just having used his ultimate, it's looking like he could go for it. I don't know if he will. I kind of doubt he will. Let's go ahead and just drop this. That's going to be... Oh, that's going to miss horribly, dude. What am I doing? That was... That was just terrible. That was... That, 
What the hell were you doing, Spankin'? That was just horrible! Alright, well, I was kind of halfway expecting her to try and, like... Oh. Alright. Whoops. I'm the worst, dude. I am just... just the worst. <laughs> I do not know why I cannot play today, but it's looking like they're both going to go down. There's the shank in his asshole. But let's see, maybe... Did he get the blue? He did not. But let's see, we can get... We can get double daggers here, so that'll be good. Both daggers for the fam dancer. And I'm just... I feel like I'm just going to stop ulting, stop trying to do stuff on my own. It's obviously not paying off. Azir coming in, though. Looking like he will do some damage right there. The Emperor's Divide and Cat Ears! Going to pull him straight back through the wall. Straight back through the Shreeman shuffle, but apparently Master Yi did not know how to dance. So he will not be shuffling back to life. He'll be shuffling to the grave. So let's get up here. Take this minions. Take these minions, not this minions. And let's see where we can go from there. So I am in... Yeah, I'm in my... I'm in my rocket form. I'm in... Uh, fuck, what's... What's her... What's her rocket's name again? I always know it, it's... It's Pow Pow and Fish Bones. Pow Pow and Fish Bones. Pow Pow's the minigun, Fish Bones is the rocket. So, going back to Fish Bones mode, let's just, I guess we'll just keep chilling. So, look, oh, he is going for this. Will he get it? The hook will not land. And it's looking like, even though that was pretty heavily skewed, there is the slow going down on me. I'm going to keep auto attacking as I run. I do have my flash. No need to use it. Look at that damage. Coming out, boom! That's gonna be one kill. And let's see, cook a Krabby Patty gonna go down as well. And maybe, boop, boom! That's gonna be one auto. And fuck yeah! That's gonna be the double kill. As Jinx decides she wants to go like full doofus mode and run totally the wrong way. So we finally hit an ultimate, and that may be gonna be a kill for next. Who knows? But let's see here. We should no. It's not gonna be a kill for next. But let's see if we can get this inhibitor tower as well so maybe maybe yeah and I can get my my whole phantom dancer off of this so that is just spectacular so let's drop this it's looking like by the way oh I trust him so I didn't even look where he was trying to hook I just trusted him uh oh uh oh uh oh get get kill this yeah kill this motherfucker all right let's go ahead and just keep up the auto attack in here look at this damage and oh shit that's gonna be the hook and maybe shit all right uh rip zap oh damn it dude if that landed you bet your ass i would have been feeling like a god wait oh shit that's gonna be a lot of damage the aoe boom and will it be enough it will be and schlebink where'd you go all right you know what jarvin's tanking i got this Boop. and i'm out of here all right so I was trying to make sure we didn't have anything. Wait. Rengar, no! Oh, wait. Alright, he didn't go after me. Alright, that's fine. I thought about it after I was so low. I was like, wait. There's something that can kill me, isn't there? And then uh, I saw the Rengar exclamation point on me. But then he just went for Jarvan. So I'll take that. Twisted Fate gonna try and alt in, and I'm out of there. So see ya. <laughs> bye bye, buddy. And let's go ahead and grab a Vampiric Scepter here so we can heal up a little bit. Look at all this top farm. Look at all this delicious, delicious top farm. And then. What else do I need? Oh, the order's been given. Emperor's Divide coming out. Rengar. Rengar using his Pussycat agility. And let's see. Oh, the Lock of the Iron Solari. One more. He will get the kill. What a kill. What a kill from Cat Ears right there. But we are huge right now. We are an absolutely massive jinx. This is... This right here in a normal game of League of Legends is exactly where you want to be when you are... Like, when you start team fighting. Because this little breakpoint of Fan Dancer and Infinity Edge, obviously, you can only get stronger from here. But this is where you will start decimating teams. Because usually teams don't really have a lot of armor yet. So you don't need the Last Whisper just yet. This is about in the game where they'll start getting it. Um, it looks like Twist of Fate gonna go down to some minions. So rest in peace, Twisted Fate. But um, as I said, you just do that. What I just did to that ranged minion group, you do that to a group of champions. You just AoE crit them, and they are getting shredded ridiculously fast. But I should probably be careful because I am... 
I am still just a Jinx. I don't know where Rengar is. Alright, whatever. I'm totally safe. And by totally safe, I mean I'm actually not that safe. But I guess my teammates are here, so I'm very safe. Yep, Rengar's right there. I'm totally safe. Never mind, I take it all back. I'm 100% safe. There is no way, 0% chance that I will die uh, at this current second. So that stun coming out. Let's go ahead and get the zap. The hook will miss, even though I got the slow off on him. Let's go ahead and get some auto attacks off in here. Look at that pain. Look at it. And boop, boop. And boop, 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 boop. And... Let's go ahead and get that kill there. Let's see what we can do. That's going to be... Wait, did I get it? No, I didn't. Oh, wait. Oh, look at that damage. So what's Rengar going to do? What's Mr. Putty Tag going to do? There he is. Let's drop the heal right there. And boom, double kill coming out for Jarvan. And it's looking like this could be good. Let's go ahead and just... Ow, blue card. Don't blue card me, bro. Come on. You know what? Actually, I want to heal up. I don't feel like trying to sit here and keep fighting is going to be a good idea. So let's see it. Wait. The yellow card coming out. The hook will land. And that's going to be another kill. Put me on the dominating. Whoa. She popped. She's gone. But that will put me at the dominating 12, 4, and 10 so far. And it's looking like I don't have my chompers up, but I can auto attack really hard. So let's just keep doing that. And wow, mechanical prowess. 13, 4, and 11. And this should be the end of the game. Let's go ahead and clear these minions just to buff our score a little bit more. Throw these chompers out right there just in case anything happens. 50 gold for killing the Nexus. By the way, guys, if you ever pay attention to the League of Legends tips, make sure, um, you know, if you're 50 gold short of an item, just kill the enemy Nexus. Let's go into this post-game post -game lobby here. So, even though we had some temporary lapses in judgment um, that game, and by temporary lapses in judgment, I mean we played like a total idiot for, uh, the, for some parts of that game. That's fine. It's whatever. But we are still top of the damage. We are still top of the gold. The only person to even make it over 10K. Um, 13, 4, and 11, 165 CS. We played that overall pretty well. And here's the ending, um, you know, builds, ending scores, everything you could ever want to see. And if you guys did enjoy this video, do make sure you do leave a like and a favor. It really does help me out. If you want to, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch. All three links will be in the description below this video. And as always, I love you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!